be going over gush and drip. In this video, we'll be going over my trade idea of the week and the day by day probability model. So let's start off with the technical analysis on the one hour chart for gush. We remain in negative MACD and we're slightly off of oversold levels with the RSI. As with the four hour chart, we remain in negative MACD and we have yet to test the 200 moving average. This green line, which is currently at the price of $43.29. And as we extend that to the daily chart, we still remain in positive MACD approaching to negative MACD territory. And we also have yet to test the 50 moving average, this yellow line. And as we examine the trade ID of the week, my position size is less than 1% of my portfolio. My entry is at $42.55. And that is this range here. And that coincides with the 50 day moving average, this yellow line. My sell target is at $46.31, and that is this range there. My stop loss is at $41.67. So now let's examine drip. On Friday, close above 7.4%, and on the one hour chart, it remained in pause MACD and nearing overbought levels with the RSI. With the four hour chart, we also remain in pause MACD. As we extend that once more onto the daily chart, we still remain in negative MACD and we're off of oversold levels with the RSI. As for the trade idea of the week, my entry for it is at $19.54 and that is this range here and that coincides with support and pass as indicated back in January 7th. And my sell target is at $21.71 and that is this range there. My stop loss is at $18.72. So how did I develop these trade ideas? It all comes from the day-by-day -day probability model, which we're examining XOP. Gush is a leveraged version of XOP, and Drip is an inverse leverage of XOP, so do keep in mind of that. As we progress to the fifth day or week of trading, we have a 33% chance for XOP to climb between 0 to 3.1%, and a 67% chance to fall between 0 to negative 3.1%. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.